guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the last edition of the five ingredients or less recipe series today we are actually doing seafood which is actually one of my favorite foods but I am collabing with one of my friends Vanessa from Lemonade Mom I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about her before but if not definitely go over to her channel and check her out she actually has two different channels she has a vlog channel and a regular channel on her regular channel, she does cooking videos, Dollar Tree hauls, every other kind of haul. On her vlog channel, she's really focusing a lot lately on the move. She's actually moving from a regular house to a tiny home, and she's going to live there for a couple of years with her four kids and two dogs and one cat and her husband while they build their forever home on the same property. So it's really cool to be able to watch that. So go over to her vlog channel and her regular channel. I will leave those down in the description box below and let her know that I sent you and watch her video because she's also doing a seafood dish for today and I'm really excited for you guys to see what it is. Okay guys, these are the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe. Super, super easy. The first thing you're going to need is some medium shrimp. And I just got this easy to peel raw shrimp from Kroger. It actually is really super easy to peel even though the shell is on and it's quite a bit cheaper. So I just got that. I do wish I would have gotten large shrimp though for this recipe. You need one white onion, one 8 ounce package of cream cheese, a box of noodles. You can use whatever kind of noodles you want. These are just the ones I had on hand and some spaghetti sauce. I'm serving mine with this bread that I got on clearance at Walmart for $1.06. It's the buttery garlic market side bread. So these are all the ingredients you need. Now let's get into this super easy recipe. The first thing we're going to do is chop up this onion. So it doesn't have to be perfect because you are going to cook it down a little bit. So if there's big pieces, they'll cook down. But if you know you don't like big pieces, I would chop it as fine or as not fine as you want to. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And then we're going to move on to the next step. have my shrimp all in a pan and there's my pot of boiling water in the back for my noodles so I'm just going to cook these I'm going to add some seasonings as you can see I'm going to add my absolute favorite garlic salt from Aldi and I'm going to add that in there and I just want to flavor the shrimp a little bit because obviously it is not flavored so I again like I said in the beginning of the video I would have liked to have um, some bigger shrimp because they kind of got lost because the noodles were bigger than the shrimp after they cooked down a little bit um, so that would be my only tip, and that would be the only thing if I changed next time would be to add bigger shrimp. So that is everything. So I'm going to cook it down right now, and then I'm going to add in my onions in a second to cook those in with it as well. And then I'll show you guys the next step. the onions and the shrimp have cooked together I'm going to place a lid on it and just let it simmer there for a little while while I am prepping the noodles so in the meantime I am cooking the noodles on the burner in the back but everyone knows how to cook noodles so I didn't show that so now once everything looks like this I'm going to add that pasta sauce again you can add whatever pasta sauce you want homemade sauce preferably but I did not have time for all that so I just used straight out of the jar 
Then I'm going to mix everything together. And as you can tell, and as you're going to see when I add the noodles, I was really cutting it close with this pan. But it ended up working out fine, so all was good. But I'm going to mix all this stuff together and let that simmer for a little bit. And then we're going to add the cream cheese, which is what's going to make this really super creamy and delicious. So I would recommend getting the cream cheese a little bit more soft before you put it in here because as you can see I'm going to struggle trying to break it all up and not have pieces in the pasta. So I did put the cream cheese on the stove for a little while while everything was hot and the oven was preheating for the bread and everything but I don't think I put it on there for long enough because there are lots of pieces that I'm trying to break up. I ended up getting it all broken up and it was fine but I would recommend doing that. So now I'm going to add the pasta and this is when you can really tell that I was cutting it close with this pan. So I'm going to very carefully stir everything around and try to break up those clumps of cream cheese a little bit more. And then I'm going to let everything simmer together and that is it. As you can see, most of the cream cheese is broken down, so I'm going to put a lid on and then I'm going to get my bread into the oven. So the awesome thing about this bread is you can just put it right in with the package. So you just put it right in there and then you cook it and you're all done. That is it guys. Pretty easy, a little bit more difficult than the ones that I've had this week. But thanks so much for tuning into this week. I've had so much fun sharing recipes with you guys. If you missed them, I will have them linked in the cards and in the description box below. Make sure you check them out because I had so much fun doing them. And I think you guys will love all of the meals that I brought to you guys. So again, make sure you check out Vanessa's channels if you have not already. I will leave them down below. And you guys have a great day and I will see you guys tomorrow for something new. Bye guys.